Good afternoon. Hola amigos from Guadalajara. You may have seen us a few days ago in this same spot. Same exact spot. Uh, it's actually Saturday morning at like 11 a.m. and we have explored so much already that we yes. had to start a new video. So here it is. We are at the Church of Guadalajara and uh, our day's just getting started. Yes, yes. We're going to go explore and uh, we'll give you some views, sights, and opinions on the way. First stop on our uh, historic tour, our tour of historic Guadalajara. We're going to go inside the Cathedral de Guadalajara and uh, give you some sights and of, uh, of exactly what it looks like. And then next, we're going to go to uh, the Pal Palacio de Gobi Gobierna de Jalisco. I think I said that right. Probably not. just left the church as you can tell it is insanely beautiful in there apparently this church was built in the early 1500s but it was basically just an adobe church now that church was caught on fire and uh it pretty much since then it seems like they they had that church something happened they built another one they just continued to make improvements and improvements and i believe if uh if what i read is right in 1854 is pretty much the year that this structure that we see here is built and apparently it is still in danger from uh earthquakes have uh have damaged it and there's a slight tilt in one of the domes that uh they are they are concerned about so it has obviously a very rich rich history de gobierno sound like a goober trying to say gobierno uh, here in Guadalajara it was finished in 1774 which uh, I guess compared to the 1500s isn't very old but for uh, history United States this is a pretty old building it is extremely beautiful all the arches are uh, very beautiful and behind me we have a, a painting that I'm still struggling to learn about uh, I this is Miguel Hidalgo and uh, that's about as much as I know, unfortunately, about the painting. I need your help because uh, the internet is not helping me out very much with this painting as far as, far as what the meaning is. We've got Russians, we've got Nazis, we've got uh, Christian crosses, we've got snakes. Uh, I'm sure somebody, I'm sure one of you guys understands some of the symbolism uh, behind that's going on here. And as I learn more about Mexican history, I will probably understand exactly what this means. But uh, please comment below, let me know. We're gonna continue our tour around the, uh, this historic area of Guadalajara. I'm not sure where we're going next, but I think it might involve food soon. assume this is by the same author as the last painting. Uh, I'm guessing that is Hidalgo. I think the only other person I know is maybe that's Emiliano Zapata. Uh, and this gentleman looks very familiar but I can't, can't think of his name right now. I'm still learning guys. Thanks for helping. Short break 
from our downtown tour. We've got to get uh, we've got to get hydrated and caffeinated to finish our this tour. After this, we're gonna walk to Revolution Park, and then after that, we're gonna have lunch at the most recommended place uh, you guys sent me. So we're very much looking forward to it. Coffees were delicious. We're about to hit the road, and we're caffeinated. Well, we have made it to uh, Revolution Park, I think. It looks pretty big. We're just gonna walk around, see what it's all about. Maybe look at, check out the statues and uh, see what they have to say. See what they have to say. See what we can learn from them. And then we gotta go eat. Stumbled upon this church when I walked to get food. I believe it is Templo Expiatorio. It was, uh, I did some research and it looks like it was, construction began in 1897 and it took 75 years to finish this church. It is, uh, it is beautiful, it is beautiful in there. It has a darker feel than the Cathedral of Guadalajara, uh, but the stained glass in there was, was amazing. We're at another park. I'd be curious to know how many parks are in this area. The amount of public space in Guadalajara and in Mexico City uh, for that matter as well is is amazing it's uh definitely uh something we love about the city there's so much open space great walkability and i think we're looking at our about our hundredth fountain there's so many fountains in this great city and uh if we don't get sidetracked again by something amazing uh we're finally going to take you to get some food but i have a feeling we might find something else on our way to Hugo Grande. That's what I got. It is really busy in here. And Greg's food looks super <laughs> good. It smells like heaven. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this, but I'll find a way. Wow. When Hillary, our non-meat eater, got a uh, entry holadas. They look pretty good. They look entry holadas. Dinner was delicious. This is the second time we're saying all this because we just said it and the camera wasn't on the entire time. The food was delicious. Better than the birria. Not a knock on the birria, but this place is good. Yeah. Thank you for your recommendations. It's packed. The place is so busy. We, the streets were getting like sparse on the way here and I was wondering if we were lost. It's because everybody's here, uh, including the mariachi, mariachi band. band. It's really good at dancing. Yes. It's mariachi band back here. We're going to... Uh, we're gonna head home, rest up a little bit. That way we can eat another good dinner. I think we might have some tortas or jugadas in our future. Oh yeah. We'll find a way to get some so that footage too. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell that way you get notified every time we upload a new video and we'll see you manana. Later.